A local teenage hockey player slid into a new reality when he was diagnosed with cancer. But tonight, he is back on the ice and pursuing his goal to one day play in the NHL. Sports anchor Ronnie Duncan shares his remarkable comeback story. Me coming home and my mom telling me we have to go to the hospital because I'm having brain surgery. After hearing those words, 18-year-old youth hockey star Braden Lewis knew he was standing on thin ice. Back in May, the six-foot-one defenseman from Fort Wayne, Indiana, was diagnosed with brain cancer and had a malignant tumor removed. Thirsting for any knowledge or solution to overcome the dangers that go along with this, he opened his ears and recalled the advice he got from one cancer survivor. He said, "You keep a positive mindset. That's going to be 85 percent of your battle. The other 15 percent is physical, but you'll be able to get through it." So I kept that positive mindset throughout the whole thing, and I believe that's why I'm here do, doing what I'm doing right now. And that's participating in practice with his teammates and coaches of the Mount Clemens Metro Jets. He definitely inspires me. He inspires me to become a better player and just a better person in general. It's been an incredibly impressive, to say the least, as far as how Braden's approached obviously this challenge and, and how he's tackling it head on. Braden's appearance surely inspires as well as educating those about the dangers of childhood cancer. Each year, one 18-year-old in every 1,000 in the United States is a survivor of childhood cancer. September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month and Braden doesn't hesitate getting the word out. This has changed your life. But if you've ever made a commitment to childhood cancer, you want to be an influence. You want to be in a position where you can help other children but bring awareness to childhood cancer. I want to do anything I can to help anyone that's going through this. And that's, that would be my, that'd be my talking to them, would be stay positive. That is huge. That is so huge. Skating proudly these days with his golden locks visible, Brayden has affectionately been called Thor from the Marvel Comics. He may not be the god of thunder, however, he proudly shows off his wounds that are a reminder that his healing is his victory. Uh, I, I just, it's part of me now. That's, that's how a lot of people describe me. I'm going to keep it. I was, I was fortunate enough to only lose it on just right here, and so I got to keep it all, and I love it. Reporting in Mount Clemens, Roddy Duncan, Detroit, Now News. And it was quite